the sexy co-producer of Proper Manners. <laughs> Talk to me about what we can expect to see on Proper Manners. A lot of fun. Uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, secrets that will come and go. Uh, we're going to have a lot of people um, showing attitude. We're going to have a lot of people just showing that they are the right owners. We are here to make a scene. We are making ourselves known. Um, a lot of fun, though. I mean, you know, some episodes we're playing with, you have a lot of fun, a lot of uh, just different scenarios thrown into it just to, just to mix everybody up. Now, I have a lot of people from L.A. and New York watching this show. Mm -hmm. They're going to think, how in the world are you guys doing a soap opera in Mormon land, Utah, the world where there's no such thing as a soundstage, <laughs> there's no such thing as professional crew, and there's no such thing as professional actors? What do you want to say to them? Well, funny you say that. Uh, I have a good friend of mine uh, from Plant City who now lives in Atlanta. And I was talking to him, he had some background on his character about, you know, just his family and whatnot. He says, you're shooting this in Utah? And I say, exactly. Uh, I would say that uh, people here would be very surprised at the talent that we do have here. Uh, I've been very blessed to be uh, brought into the industry with the crowd that I've been brought in with. Uh, people that uh, in uh, New Ogden Cinema, very talented people. Uh, this is really my first go at being in the film industry. So jumping in feet first with no experience and you know, going right into uh, these, this wealth of talent is very humbling for me, but it's also very exciting. Uh, Pietro's been doing this for 20 some odd years and we've always joked that, you know, if you know, 20 years ago, we would have just jumped to L.A., where would we be right now? And, you know, it, it, it just seems kind of fitting that the, the, the universe is brought together right now. Now is the time. 20 years ago, it wasn't the time. You know, now is the time, and I, I just feel very fortunate that, you know, we do have this group of people to work with, and it grows. And I don't know what it is, but I think there's something in the water. It's 2012. I don't know if people are thinking it's going to be the end of the world, so it's time to stop playing things safe. But right now in Utah, there seems to be this attitude of, you know what? I'm not going to take no for an answer anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go after these goals. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the actor. I'm going to be the producer. I'm going to be the director. And I'm just going to make my dreams happen. Is that really what we're looking at here with Proper Manners? I think so, yeah, because uh, the talent that we're bringing in are uh, a lot of young talent, uh, some older talent who may have, may or may not have the opportunities, and now the opportunity is here, and the response we're getting just in the castings alone is overwhelming. So you these new people come in and say, I'm gonna give it a shot, no matter what this content is. It, you know, it may be a little fuzzy for me, may not be right up my alley, but they're jumping in feet first, and they're not even blinking an eye. So. I think just the attitude of the world today, the attitude of Ogden itself, we were speaking about this earlier, is changing. People want to come here, they're re we're reinventing Ogden, and people are, are, are warming up to it. Excellent. Now before we go, tell us one more time where we can find uh, more information on Proper Manners. ProperManners.tv. Excellent. Thanks. Thank you.